Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on Planet Art. A couple of days ago I sent out this post on Snapchat and Instagram saying for people to give me stuff to draw and for them to be as creative as they like. And we got, we got a few responses back so let's get started. Welcome back to my channel, Planet Art. As I said at the start, from the post I put out on Instagram and Snapchat, we've got a few answers that have come back and they vary in difficulty. Um, some are very easy and just like one word answers. Others are a bit more difficult, a bit more challenging. And the posts I'll be putting up here. So the first one we had was just a dragon. Not telling me how to draw it or anything, just simply a dragon. The next one is, is one you're gonna have to think about a bit. It's a spaceman being ripped in half with a cracked helmet showing the skull. So you can already see the levels of difficulty are like varied in this, in this video. And the last one is something to do with sports and supplements or logo that will f both. So yeah, that, that one is a logo, but the other two are drawings. So yeah, I think, I think we've got quite a lot to be getting on with in this video. So let's go. Okay, so to begin, I started to draw a few different sketches of the image of the dragon that I had in my head. I knew that I wanted it to be fairly spiky, so I went with that idea and slowly added more spikes. And this was the point where I started to add facial features in. To make the dragon stand out more, I went over lightly with the pencil and then pressed down a bit harder so I could make sure that I actually knew what lines I wanted to follow. I added spikes around the heads and scales along the chest area. Then I went back and added a bit more detail with a darker pencil. This included spikes along the back and different facial features. After doing that I swapped to a 0.4 fine liner and went over all the lines I'd just drawn, including the teeth, horns, eyes and the lower body to make it stand out more. I also added a bit of shading in with the 0.4 But most of the shading came when I had the 0.1 fine liner, which was a much thinner fine liner. And to add shading for this, all I did was little crosses, which when grouped together formed a shading pattern. And it seemed to work quite well on the final, final design. I added shading on the horns, teeth, spikes on the back, and it seemed to bring them out quite well. I would then step back and look at where I thought shading could also go and then I'd follow up and add shading where I thought it needed. Then I rubbed out all of my pencil lines that I had followed from before and continued to use my colouring pencils to add a base layer for what the felt tips would go on. I used a pink and a few shades of purple, sometimes really putting pressure on so it would make the red pop out more. 
and then when I started to put the red down I added a darker orange around some of the body and horns to make them stand out even more then following up with the red and then continuing with the body There were some points where I thought the red pen was running out but now I think it was because I put down the colouring pencil before and I think that had a bit of an effect on the felt tip but it still seemed to work fine but sometimes we feel like it was running out but for the end result it seemed to turn out alright. Then I added my darker orange again through the centre of the chest which I was trying to create contrast and to show a bit of shading. Then after I added the darker one, on the opposite side I added the lightest orange I had which seemed to contrast quite well on the final piece. Then going back and adding some more shading for the face including teeth and some horns. This was all before I went back and coloured them in with like a creamy colour. Then with my pencil I went back and sketched out a layer for where I thought the horns would end and then I continued to colour the face in red. After that I continued to, with the same cream colour, colour in the horn. And all that was left after that was for me to sign it and let it dry. Right ladies and gentlemen, this is the final piece and I am extremely happy with it. It turned out better than I could have hoped for, so I hope that the person that messaged me is happy with it. And although they're only cheap pens that I got, like the felt tip pens, I feel like it still turned out pretty good. I wasn't able to blend the colours as well, but I feel like for the result we've got, it wasn't bad. So guys. It's been a long day and I haven't just been doing this all day, although it's took up most of my day. Um, for the other two pieces of artwork to be done, I will do some more tonight and tomorrow, but I'll put them up in three different videos. This will be the first video, the second one will be the Spaceman and the third one will be the Logo. So yeah, if you did like the video, please remember to like, subscribe down below, comment, and make sure you watch out for the next videos.